Aisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Thank you to my old subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share and of course, subscribe. So please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing uh, energy check-in for the Libra Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So, um, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's get it. Okay, so we have Happy Family in Reverse. Nine of Air. Ace of Water in Reverse. And Three of Air in Reverse. Okay, so... Some of you um, in the recent past, you separated from friends or family. You may have just cut them off altogether. So some of you, you really started to, you started to know yourself. You started to figure out what you like, what you don't like, who you really are, what you're about. Uh, you started to speak your own truth and some people weren't okay with that. So you left them in the dust. Yes. <laughs> uh, you came to a realization that you, it was like you learned all that you needed to learn with them and it was time to move on. I'm feeling that this strongly with friends. Some friends you had outgrown some friends. They were on some party and bullshit and party and bullshit and you were, you're not on that anymore. Look, you're on... You're on, you're speaking your truth. You're on bigger, better things, right? Yes. You're on looking at the bigger picture of your life, what you want for your life. Yes. So you separated yourself from them. Um, also, I'm, I'm picking up a storyline with family members. So for some of you, you, you lived at home with family and, or you lived at home with your parents and they were keeping you stuck. They were keeping you stuck. I keep hearing someone saying, I'm grown. <laughs> I'm grown. Stop treating me like a child. So for some of you, your parents, even though you're a grown ass adult in the house, paying rent and everything, they still treated you like you were a little kid. Like they, it was like they would not, they would not acknowledge that you were capable of making your own choices and decisions for yourself. Uh, they didn't really want you to do that. For some of them, it was about control. And for others of them, it was just, they had a real hard time allowing you to leave the nest and grow up. It was like they wanted you to be their, their baby forever. But you're not, you're grown. Also, for some of you, for some of you that were, were living at home, you wanted to, you wanted more stability in terms of um, your financial freedom and your independence. For some of you, I'm picking up that you were paying a lot of bills in the household. You had a lot of burdens, financial burdens in the household. And for some of you, you... You were helping out with the bills and stuff, but you really, you needed to be focusing on building your own stuff. You needed to be focused on your own bag. Okay, so I'm seeing somebody who's paying rent to someone that they live with as a family member. And this family member is taking their money and having a good time while you're struggling. Because you could have used that money. I'm feeling someone, somebody is very disgruntled because they feel like um, they have to pay more in rent than they need to be paying. Because they, they could really use the money. And it was stressing you out. So you dropped it. You left. Or some of you just stopped talking to them. Stop talking to these family members or these friends. For those of you who walked away from friends, ah, uh, I'm feeling toxic. These people were, they were all about having a good time at your expense. So maybe you were the one that I was always paying for stuff or you would pay for majority of the things. 
And it was slowing down your progress for you to create new beginnings for yourself, for you to focus on your career, for you to focus on your independence. They had you just, they're wasting your money with them because they didn't have any direction in life, but you do. So you had to drop them. I'm also, I'm feeling someone who's just like, they're just bored, like they're bored. You're, you see, I'm seeing someone who has a, con they're having a conversation with people and they're just kind of like not there. Like they're just staring at them, but they're not there. <laughs> Physically, they're there, but mentally and emotionally, they done checked out because you're, they're talking some bullshit and they're not interested. You, it's, you outgrew these people. So you had to brush them off. You weren't learning anything. Look at this. This is um, three of air in reverse. You weren't learning anything new with these people. It was just the same shit over and over again. I'm hearing that um, that line in Sierra's song, Level Up. Graduate your level. There's no one else on it. Yeah, you're past these people now. That's why they couldn't hold your attention. That's why you had to brush them off. A lot of you too, you, you stopped talking to uh, family members because as you began to recognize and remember who you really are and speak your truth, they weren't really inviting of that. They didn't want to hear about that. They wanted you to keep being the same way so they could keep dealing with you the same way. And as you began to step into your power and know yourself, you're not, you weren't having that anymore. You started to speak your truth. I'm hearing someone saying, no, I'm not going to be paying for that. You need to get that yourself. No, I'm not going to be paying that bill. Or uh, I'm only going to be covering half instead of the whole thing. Because I got shit to do too. Okay, so presently we have the temple path. Nine of water, destiny, this card keeps showing up in your twin flame readings, <laughs> presently working on destiny, creating your destiny, and we have um, 11, 11 of earth in reverse. I've done a few readings today already, and the destiny card, always, this card, I think it's beautiful by the way. This card always comes up presently for Twin Flames. You're creating your destiny. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so presently my Libra, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Well, actually, this is the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminines, you are... You're being guided towards what you're supposed to be doing. You're being guided towards your destiny you are creating a new picture a bigger picture you are looking at the grand scheme of things in regards to what you're doing and what you're focusing on now you're also learning how to balance your inner world and your outer world you're healing from the things that happened in the past with these people or these family members it really hurt you i'm feeling someone who's really like genuinely hurt at the fact that they started to reveal their true selves to people that have known them for years and it was not welcomed. It was not received. It was like they wanted you to stay stuck in this um, grade, like at the certain grade or the certain level because that's who they understood and knew you to be. So as you started to grow and realize that you're not into certain things anymore, they didn't like that. Yeah. They wanted you to stay stuck in this partying and bullshit phase forever or until they were ready to move on from it. But you just you just happened to grow a lot faster than they did. Tough bananas for them. But this this genuinely hurts you. Um, also for family members. I'm feeling someone who's just really, really very disappointed. Disappointed at the fact that they had to walk away from people that they grew up with their parents because they weren't accepting of who they really are and what they're about. 
I'm hearing they didn't know your path. They didn't, they don't know your path for you. You do, right? Your, you, your path is unique to you. And that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on what unique gifts you have to offer, what unique skills and talents you have to share with humanity in service to the elevation of humanity. You're on bigger things. <laughs> like, yes, you're on big picture, grand scheme of things. That's what you're focused on now. But you're, you're doing your healing. You're doing your healing. And this is going to allow you to... When you look back at the past or you remember certain things, you're not going to be triggered because you're doing your healing, right? And you, you love yourself. So you're realizing that, yeah, you made a stand for yourself and you did what was best for you. You did what was for your highest good and your best interest. And you didn't give a shit who was okay with it or not. You also came to a realization that the only person who needs to accept you is you. So as much as it hurts you, you still have that, um, that resolve, like, pfft, I don't need you. I need me. Sorry if my camera's shaking. So with this healing, you are creating your destiny in every moment of every day, right? With you learning how to balance your inner world, from you healing, you learn how to create abundance within yourself, love, inner peace, clarity. These things are going to help you to create your destiny. These things are going to lead you on the right path. You're also being guided. You're being divinely guided by upstairs. Look at these lights. You call them angels, ancestors, um, guides, your galactic team. You're being divinely guided. You are divinely guided to cut these people the fuck off, right? Yeah. Because they had gotten to as far as they could go with you. Yes. Right? And to, to stay with them any longer would impede your growth. You wouldn't be growing anymore with them. You would be stunted. So you had to leave them. And you knew that. You knew that. And it hurt, but you're doing what's good for you. Now you can really focus on balancing out your life, creating um, the abundance that you want for yourself from the inside out. Because now you can focus on being happy on all levels of your life in all areas. And you're not worried about catering to other people and making sure this person's good and making sure that bill is paid. And you're focused on your own shit, which you should be. Moving into the future along with guidance from spirit, we have anxiety in reverse. Three of earth. Ten of fire in reverse. And abundance in reverse. Okay, my Libra Twin Flame. So this is talking about um, spirit wants you to drop the anxieties, drop this, this hurt, this hurt from the past, which you are doing. You're, you're learning, you're healing from that now. And that's what exactly what you're going to be doing in the future. You're going to be done with it because it really hurt you. The rejection, I'm hearing rejection, the rejection of who you really are really hurts you. But you're going to be letting this shit go because you got more important things to be focusing on. Uh, you're focusing on planting seeds. You're committed. You're committed to learning who you really are. You're committed to creating abundance for yourself. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on, right? Because abundance here is in reverse, which means you're learning, you're learning how to do it. You don't have it yet, but you're working towards that. And this path that you're on, your destiny is to be abundant, right? So that's why spirit wants you to focus on that now. Your destiny is to move in the wholeness of who you are. I know that I know that I know that I am. I know what I am. I know what I'm about. I know what I bring to the table. Yes. So spirit wants you to focus on that. Focus on your healing. Focus on aligning. Aligning your chakras. 
so that you know how to use your inner resources. You're a very powerful being. It is time to get to know who you really are. So that you can start making the moves for yourself that you want. And you are, you're committed to this journey. You're committed to doing what you got to do for yourself. Planting the seeds that you got to plant. Um, making the sacrifices that you needed to make. You knew that you're very okay. In the future, you're going to be very 100% okay with the fact that you cut these people out of your life. Or stop talking to them. Or distance yourself from them. Because now you're able to focus on the shit that you really need to be focused on. And you're ready. In the future, you're you're doing what you need to do. <laughs> I'm hearing someone say, oh, pff, whatever. <laughs> like they could care less. Libras, you you guys could care less. <laughs> Oh boy, you're focused on what you need to focus on. Okay, my Libra Twin Flames, that's what I have for you. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, I encourage you to please hit that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Also, as usual, please take a look at the programs in my description box. They are channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. These programs are designed to help you to walk in your power and realize your destiny, to walk in your mission, walk your path 100% whole by healing, by getting through the layers and healing and decluttering and all of that good stuff to help you heal from the inside out so you can create balance as within, so without, as above, so below. So please, I encourage you to take a look at the programs. They are 50% off right now. So you cannot say that you cannot afford this because they are priced at a, yeah, you got this. You can get this. Also, with the purchase of the bigger programs, you get a smaller program. So that's anxiety or confidence program. Absolutely free. This is about the bigger picture. This is about healing, helping you to heal. Also, if you're looking for a personal reading or uh, personal counseling, please take a look at the information in my description box and we can get it done. So with that being said, I am going to leave this reading with you. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon or night. I'm going to wrap this up because my daughter is slowly but surely trying to sneak into my office and she's going to take over the whole show. So, okay, bye. I'll see you again.